would love to talk about my favorite product. Hey YouTube fam, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy you decided to click on this video. You might as well go ahead and subscribe right now because I swear, I promise, you are not going to be disappointed. So today I am super excited. I love nothing more than to share with you guys my absolute favorite products. Like that's probably one of my favorite things to talk about ever because I'm so picky. When it comes to products, I look at their ingredients, I take into account their smell, the packaging, how it works with my curls, how it works with other products. Like I'm so picky when it comes to products. And I have like a group of faves that's like, my hair product fam, those are the ones that like live in my bathroom, live in my dresser, in my beauty room, and those are the ones that I use like literally weekly, daily, the OG products. I'm going to go through cleansers, conditioners, treatments, and stylers, so we're going to cover all bases, and I'm going to go through each one, tell you why they're amazing, why I love them, and how I use them on different occasions, etc, etc. I'm excited. All right, let's jump straight in. All right, so let's start with cleansers first. As y'all know, I do not use shampoos. If you want to know why and the whole backstory and all of that to it, I did do an entire video on that. So I will link it up here as well as link it below if you guys want to check that out as well. So my first favorite cleanser is going to be a conditioning cleanser, not a shampoo. And that is the Coconut Co-Wash by As I Am. So I think this co-wash is actually amazing for like a weekly co-wash, a weekly cleanse for your curls. If you were like me and you do not like shampoo, this is perfect. The major thing that I love about this, well, two things actually, I love the smell, and then two, I absolutely love how moisturizing it is. It cleanses just as much as it moisturizes, and it's just juicy, and it has a lot of slip in it as well, so if you're like me and you like to start to clear out your curls while you're cleansing, this is amazing, because it's got some slip in it too, and you will absolutely love this. My other favorite cleanser that I wanted to mention here today is the Build Up Buster by Diva Curl. So this is something that I'll actually use to either like reset my hair or kind of just give it like a deeper, like way deeper cleanse than an actual conditioning cleanser. So this is not a cleanser that you want to use like once a week because then that's going to be way, way too much. Like this type of cleansing, it's really like resetting your curls. It takes everything out of there. Like if you use the products that's too heavy and you're finding it difficult to kind of wash it out with anything else, this will completely take all of it out and get you to start from like scratch with your hair. I don't use this more often than like once a month. Sometimes it depends. If I have an issue, then maybe bi-weekly. It's literally as it sounds. It gets rid of all of that buildup on your hair and you start new and it's just, it's amazing. This is also really great for cleansing your scalp as well. All right, on to conditioners. So I have two rinse out conditioners that I really love. So the first one is by Texture, which is a line by Cantu. And this is their leave-in slash rinse out hydrating conditioner. So don't come for me, <laughs> my dog definitely bit the pump off of this, so I have to like screw it off to use it, but it's fine, it works the same. This is actually a super, super affordable conditioner. This is less than $10. I want to believe like it's like $9, um, and it's bomb. It is so moisturizing. For my conditioners slash treatments in general, whenever I'm conditioning my hair, I never ever wash it out completely. That's just something that works for my curls. I always leave just a little bit in. You don't want to leave a lot in because then it's just going to weigh down your curls. It's going to be a hot ass mess. But if you leave like the right little bit amount, your hair will be able to maintain that much more moisture and they'll be popping. Like that is one of my secrets for my curls. This also smells really, really nice. It's very sweet. It's got like a sweet shea butter type smell. It does have shea butter in it. Um, and I just love it. It's not too heavy, not too lightweight, and it also really helps to define my curls. My other favorite rinse out conditioner does the same thing. So this is actually a very, very recent addition to my collection and I'm obsessed. So this is the Verb Curl Conditioner. This is from their curl collection that they launched recently and I adore this conditioner. When you put it in your curls, you can actually feel it and see it like defining your curls as you're combing it through. It is so bomb and it's 
again, like the other conditioner that I just spoke about, it is not too heavy to where you feel like it's like, like in your hair and you need to just get it out. Like it's pretty lightweight, but also very, very moisturizing at the same time. I swear by this. I love it. Um, I also really, really love the smell of this because it's not like a fruity smell, a shea buttery smell. It's not any kind of smell like that. It literally, the best way I can describe it is that it just smells fresh and it's a clean, nice, subtle kind of smell. So you can mix this with other products without having to worry about the smells clashing, which I love. All right, moving right along, let's talk about treatments. So I tried for like each category not to make it like a huge list of products to say like, oh, I love these all, all 10 of these I love. Um, so I tried to keep it to like two to three products, but honestly for treatments, I have four. I have four favorites and I'm gonna tell you why. I use them all at different times or when I'm looking for a different outcome. So first things first is my Olaplex number three treatment. So I started using this ever since I colored my hair. I actually picked it up that same day. My hairstylist at the time swears by this and pretty much what this is is an at-home treatment that you can use for your curls. It is not only for colored hair but it is also for anybody who feels like they have any kind of damage in their hair, this will repair it. Now I do have to point out that the rest of the Olaplex line I don't use because they have silicones in it which is like a huge no-no for curly hair so they're all of the rest of their products I will not use. My hairstylist told me that so I just I don't use them but this number three is silicone free and it is a miracle worker. So how you use this you kind of use it as a pre-wash so you apply this you can kind of dampen your hair just a little bit and then just kind of comb it through your curls and apply it right before you're actually about to cleanse it. You can leave this in your hair for as long as you want. The longer the better I feel and it just brings your curls back to life. It's like giving them a little hug and just making everything all better. Any kind of damage, heat damage, color damage, dryness, frizz, breakage, any of that kind of thing, this is really going to help with. If you have like more severely damaged hair, then it says on the back that you can use it like two to three times a week. Um, but I just kind of use this once a week. When I'm getting ready to do my little wash day, I'll just start with this and trust me, it is so bomb. So if you are struggling with your curls, I would 100% recommend this. It's nice because they also sell this at Sephora, so it's kind of really accessible. The only thing I don't like about it is how small this is. Like, look at how small. If you have super long, big curls, you'll finish this in, like, two washes. Um, I feel like it's, it's halfway for me now, and I've only used it about two or three times. And, yeah, so I, that's the only thing. I wish they made this in, like, a jumbo size so I wouldn't have to buy it over and over again. Um, but honestly, even given the size, I would say 100% worth it because this is just like a miracle worker. Alright, my second treatment that I absolutely love, I talk about all the time, and that's my Diva Curl Heaven and Hair treatment. So you already know how I feel about this. If you're an OG subscriber or follower on Instagram, you have definitely heard me talk about this before. This will be a favorite of mine until the end of time, I promise. This is amazing for your hair. Um, the trick to using this and any other Diva Curl product is making sure to use it while your hair is dripping wet. Um, so this is just a deep conditioner. So right after you finish cleansing your hair, you wash out your cleanser fully, and then you slap this on while your hair is dripping, dripping wet. You can even apply it and, you know, add more, a little bit more water. Trust me, this is actual heaven in your hair. I swear. Like, I just... I love this. Anytime that my hair just needs like a little pick-me-up, you know, this is perfect. I, again, never fully wash this out. Um, it also can double as kind of like a styling product. Not if you use too much. You don't want to use too much. But um, this is just amazing. Amazing. Also, this smells so good. Like Diva Curl products in general. It's like... Ugh. And the consistency kind of reminds me of like whipped marshmallow. It's just, it's just amazing. I would say that this deep conditioner is the one that I reach for the most. Um, if my hair is not necessarily having too much of an issue, if it's just a regular deep conditioner, I need something to work quickly and effectively, this is what I'm going to reach for. The third treatment that I want to share with you guys is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. 
Me and Blueberry Bliss also go way back. If you watch some of my videos from like the very beginning of my natural hair journey, this is what I tried out first and this just defines my curls like crazy. It's very moisturizing but it also gives like a special kind of definition for my curls. It's awesome. So if any time I'm feeling like my hair is a little bit frizzier than normal and it's not defining like the way I want it to, this is what I go for. It is so good you guys. And this is probably the only like strong smelling hair product that I actually enjoy. I usually get a little bit picky when it comes to like super, super intensely fruity products because if you need to mix it with other products that smell a little different, it can kind of just get a little crazy and I just don't like all of that. But this is just, this blueberry smell, they just hit the nail on the head with this. It's like not too much but not too little and it's perfect. It's exactly what it smells like. It's just straight up blueberry but it is so, so nice. So a nice smell plus defined curls is is bomb. You can't go wrong with it. I especially, especially love to use this with my hot head um, thermal hair care thingy that you can heat up. Um, once the heat is applied to this, it, it takes the definition to an even deeper level. Like I find that it works even better once you apply a little bit of heat as well. And then my last but certainly not least treatment that I want to share with you guys is the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner by Allocaine Naturals. This is so good. Again, talking about the smell, I guess I'm really into smell. <laughs> this smells like something you could eat, like something that you could just dig your spoon in and just eat. It smells like cinnamony, like cookie goodness. It's so good and it works just as good as it smells, okay? This is what I reach for when my hair is super super dehydrated if it is super dry especially in this time of year now that we're going into fall slash winter and the air is a little bit more crisp and stuff this is what i'm going to reach for when my hair is starting to get a little bit dry a little bit frustrated this will leave your curls juicy and moisturized and popping no matter how dehydrated they are this is just so good i don't use this one as often because it's so i don't want to say like thick but it is so chocked full of stuff that I couldn't use this that often. But whenever I do need that extra level of hydration and moisture, this is bomb. Like if you have curls that struggle to retain moisture, you will love this. You will absolutely love this. All right, and now on to our final category, which is gonna be stylers. I have five products. Again, I tried to keep it short, but I feel like there are different stylers that do different things, so I kind of wanted to cover all ranges. So my first styler that I wanna talk about, I actually don't have physically in hand. Ah! So I'm actually forever giving this away, not because I don't love it, but actually because of the opposite. It is such an amazing leave-in conditioner that I have given it away on multiple occasions because people couldn't find it. So I was just like, oh, you need to you need to have this, so have it. And that is my Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Conditioner. I will try and put a little photo of it somewhere here. But it is so good. It is the most moisturizing leave-in conditioner that I have ever used. Um, if you are just looking for moisture in a styler, this is it for you. This does not necessarily define your curls. So after you use this leave-in conditioner, then you will need to follow up with something if you want a little bit more curl definition. But just in terms of the moisture, man, it's amazing and it's got some really, really great slip in there. So if you need to like comb it through your curls as well, it's bomb. It's the bomb.com and I cannot wait to get my hands on a little bit more. Camille Rose, can you help a girl up? <laughs> All right, my next styler, if you guys have seen my other videos, you would definitely know about this. This is Bay until the day I die for sure. And that's my Diva Curl Super Cream. Now, the reason why I love Super Cream so much is because this styler honestly does it all. 
if you are a person who just likes one product and you go like a wash and go, you want to style one product, you can 110% do it with Super Cream. This is super moisturizing and super defining at the same time. I don't know how they did it. In one styler? Like that's crazy. But this is why I love Super Cream so much. So it literally really does it all. And I also really love to use this to refresh my curls because I hate refreshing curls with another layer of gel. Diva Curl Super Cream literally does it all. It does it all and it never gets flaky. It never gets too like thick. You know what I mean? Like you know how some products just leave your hair feeling super greasy and just gross if you use it too much? Like this is just thebomb.com. It's actually a miracle in a bottle and if you don't have it, you need it. Another styler that I love is the Verb Curl Cream. So this product is also a part of the Verb Curl Collection that I was talking about the conditioner earlier. Another recent, like super, super recent addition to my collection, but automatically became one of my top faves. This is bomb. It is super defining. I actually have it in my hair today and my curls are so defined. I was just super shocked to get this level of definition without using any gel. Um, I also like how lightweight it is. It's not super thick at all and not flaky or anything like that. And I got like a decent level of shine from this as well. This is bomb. This gives you a real good mix of the two. It probably gives a little bit more definition than moisture. So I would suggest using this with a more moisturizing leave-in conditioner first, but it's bomb. Alright, my next styler has also been an OG product since the very beginning of my natural hair journey, and that is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. This is an intense curl definer, like intense. If you really, really, really struggle to get curl definition, you need to try this. Apply it to your hair while it's soaking wet, and I swear you will be shooketh when your hair dries. So this is very jelly-like or snotty-like, how I like to say sometimes, and it just gets those curls to spring right up. And my favorite, favorite thing about this is not only the way it defines, but the way it adds shine. There is no other product that I've mentioned today that adds shine more than this guy does. If you are just looking for some juicy, super defined, shiny curls, this is the answer to all of your problems. You definitely want to use a leave-in conditioner ahead of this, but this is gonna leave your curls looking beautiful. This is so defining that it can have a tendency sometimes to make your curls a little stiff, but all you have to do is kind of run, you know, like once your hair is dried and your curls are a little bit stiffish, you just run your fingers through your hair, kind of break that cast, and then it's bomb. I don't usually get flakes from this, but I've heard some other people who have. I think it depends on what products you use with it. Um, I would suggest if you wanted to try this out, maybe stay on the safe side and use it with another Camille Rose product because that's what I've done before and I've never ever experienced flaking from this. But yeah, it's bomb. It's super defining and I love it. All right, and my last product is a styling product, but it's not for the entire hair. It's actually an edge control. And this is the Soft Touch Wax Matte Edge Control. So Soft Touch is actually an edge control that is made and sold in Jamaica. I'm sorry, please don't hate me. I'm really not sure if this is sold online. If it is, I will 100% link it below in the description box. Um, but they reached out to me, sent it to me, and I absolutely fell in love. So I'm super picky when it comes to edge controls. I hate using an edge control that is too stiff. And I know that's kind of like the whole point of an edge control because you need something to hold those edges. But my edges just, I just don't like something that's so stiff. I feel like it just, you really put yourself at a risk of breaking those edges off and that's really just not what you want to do. So I like something that gives like a very, very good hold but also is kind of easy to wash off at the end of the day and also something that is easy that while you're applying it you can still easily like design your curls until it sets. Like I've used other edge controls before and I'm trying to like apply it and then you know kind of design my edges and, and then it's just so stiff that I can't even get like a nice little curl, a nice little swoop on my edges, you know what I mean? And I just, I hate that. So this I find is perfect. It's like let me show you. It's like a very waxy material, kind of. 
So this is what it looks like. Once you put it on, you have a few seconds to, you know, play around with it, do your little design and stuff. But once it sets, it sets and it's good. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Those are all of my current favorite products that I literally use like all the time. These are my go-to products. I really, really hope you found this useful. And if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give your bell a thumbs up as always. And also don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one.